Hi there, I'm Clifford Bates, and welcome once again to our next session, our fourth and final from the first of the first speech from on readings Plato's Apology. Um, uh, this will be our fourth session, but it's not our final session. We have we have a couple more, but this will be the final one regarding the first speech. Here we will uh, uh, wrap up uh, 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 the, the, the initial long speech by Socrates, which is, deals with the, his defense. Um, it, it happens before the jury will come. Um, we will look at uh, 28A to 35E, which is really long today, but let's go through it. Um, we left off with the account of uh, uh, Metellus where he kind of responded to Metellus's concern here. And he goes like this, and he goes, uh, he basically rounded up about his argument that Metellus doesn't really care. And um, now he, what Socrates does starting at tw uh, 28B is uh, that um, he will say, well, wait a minute. So he will, he, instead of arguing against Metellus anymore, he will now, or addressing Metellus per se, he will address the concern of, well, Socrates, you're here and you must have done something to be here. Aren't you ashamed of why you're here? Uh, in other words, this is, aren't you ashamed of your unpopularity? And isn't it, you know, shouldn't you have concerned yourself about this, right? So uh, let's, let's deal with this. And he says, uh, I'll reread, we'll read at uh, the line. He says, perhaps, then some might, uh, some uh, perhaps then some might say, then are you not ashamed, Socrates, of having followed the sort of pursuit from which you now risk, uh, run the risk of dying? Um, I would respond to him with a just speech. And he now puts it out. This, now he's, he, I notice he does it. Now he's putting, he, he, he's now going to give a speech. I'll use the word just speech. And again, this echoes the, um, uh, can uh, Daike uh, Logoi, um, uh, this kind of echoes the argument of, of, wait a minute, doesn't he argue for the weaker speech, the stronger speech, you know, you know, the argument that uh, 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 Aristophanes in the clouds uh, uh, contributes to him. So therefore, you know, in many ways, this is kind of rehashing something. I, I, I'm that I, I, I will respond to him, that person who raised that question, um, with a just speech. What you say is ignoble, fellow. In other words, unbeautiful, ignoble, uh, a dake. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, I mean uh, 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 um, and he says fellow, and it literally means uh, anthropoi, your fellow human beings. It means my fellow men, you know, and my, my human being. Literally, a uh, fellow is literally human being that West has. And uh, the address carries a somewhat contemptuous tone in the Greek, anthropos. Uh, in other words, e e e anthropos. Okay. If you suppose that a man who is even a little bit, uh, a little, uh, 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 if you suppose that a man who is of even a little benefit should take into account the dangers of living or dying, but not rather consider this alone, whether he acts, whether his actions are just or unjust, that the deeds of a good man or a bad man, uh, for uh, according to your speech, those of the demigods who met their end at Troy would be paltry, would be small, especially the son of Thesis. Now, the son of Thesis is Achilles, okay? In other words, um, in other words, he, he, he's doing, he's kind of, well, he's, no, he, he raises a question. He raises the question of, well, Socrates, aren't you ashamed of that you've, you, what, of what you've done or embarrassed by your life that led you to this? Aren't you, aren't you worried that the way you lived your life um, has led you to this danger? And he's saying, ah, no, 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 such a claim, such a accusation, such a question is ignoble, unbeautiful. Un, uh, a colos, a colos, um, uh, 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 actually worse. I forget the. Uh, I, I forget the. I don't. I, I don't have the Greek here. We should have to note the Greek, because um, uh, uh, it means literally the ugly, the 
ugly. Uh, 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 we're beautiful and ugly, right? Uh, the, uh, um, uh, ignoble, you know, um, what you say is ugly, fellow. If you suppose that a man who was even a little benefit, in other words, was even a little benefit to others or the city or whatever, uh, should take into account the danger of living or dying, but not rather uh, this account, whether his acts, whether his actions are just and unjust, and the deeds, and that his deeds, the deeds are of a good man or a bad. In other words, paying more attention to you're going to get in trouble and danger, the risks is ignoble. You should be paying attention to whether your acts and your life are good, that the things you're trying to do are good. And are you behave? Are you acting in a way truly that is good? Rather, is are the acts you're bringing are harmful and bad, and that you, the way you're living your life is harmful and bad, not only to others but also to yourself. Um, uh, now he says, for any any itch, he again repeat. He then attributes uh, such a claim, saying, "Well, you're you're accusing Achilles. Such a claim would be accusing Achilles of." being a small soul, okay, um, a, you know, a, a, a Paul, uh, in other words, the, uh, uh, the demigods who met their end at Troy would be paltry, especially the son of Thesis, paltry. rather than endure anything shameful, he despised danger so much that when his mother, a goddess, spoke to him as he was eager to kill Hector, something like this, as I suppose, son, if you avenge your murder of your comrade Patroclus and kill Hector, you yourself will die straight away, she says. After Hector, your fate is already at hand. And he, upon hearing this, be little death and danger, fearing much more to live as a bad man and not avenge his friend. Okay, this is that, at, at, this is that line from 28C to 28D, where Socrates brings forth the poet Homer's account of Achilles, who when his mother says a goddess warns him that if he kills his friend was killed by Hector uh, 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 and to avenge he wants to go kill Hector to avenge his friend's death um, and uh, his mother comes and says, you go do that you'll die and he would rather die than not to avenge his friend's death because to not to avenge his friend death would make him a bad man in that sense he would not be a bad man um, uh, 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 in other words, um, uh, in other words, and it would, I would live a bad man not to have a D. Now continues straight away. He says, "I may die after I inflict the penalty on those and those doers of injustice, or that I do not stay here ridiculous, laughable, laughable, laughable. I stay here ridiculous beside a uh, the curved ships." a burden on the land. In other words, they're at the ships. And I stand here. In other words, he's saying that uh, Achilles is saying that if I stay, if I don't do this, I'll be such a selfish. I mean, if I don't do this, I will be a laughable creature who let his friends die. And I'm going to be just here, this laughable creature who is hanging out with the, sh uh, the ships, the curve of ships that brought the troops to Troy, right? Um, uh, 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 surely you do not suppose that he gave any thought of death and danger. Now, um, Socrates refers to, now, West puts the very specific here. West gives you a long passage here, and that's very good, which includes a the, uh, the text from uh, 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 Iliad, the Iliad, okay, from the quotation from the Iliad. Dep and he points out how it departs. Um, he will point out strictly how, you know, there's, there is a departure, and I'm not here to interpret in a sense. It's actually very important to look at the way they differ, what Socrates says and what that, to see what's going on here in that sense. Um, there is a difference here. Uh, uh, West argues, Homer's Achilles chose to avenge Patroclus out of grief and anger, while Socrates' Achilles, more is concerned with how he looks to others, fears doing anything shameful and appearing ridiculous. Further, in Homer's, the death of Patroclus is, for Achilles, the private loss of his dear friend, while Socrates transforms it into a crime that deserves punishment. So Hector, rather than Patroclus, is dealt upon. Patroclus's death is a murder, which Achilles will inflict the penalty, a dike, 
uh, is the word for justice or the doer of injustice. In other words, so Socrates, the, the actual account is more question. The, the, the actual account will actually question whether it's good or not. And Homer's account is more questionable about whether what what Achilles is doing. It looks like a private act of vengeance uh, and not really an act of justice. Well, Socrates turns it into an act of justice. Okay. Now, um, the question is, is the po is the poet's account more correct here about Socrates? Is, is this, is what he's doing, is his thing really a public good or is it a private good? Is he like Achilles in that his act is selfish? Um, and therefore that would question this in this fundamental sense. Um, I think this is a very good thing. Socrates puts himself in this very important way. And I think West does a very good job here highlighting this issue and it's very worth paying attention to. Uh, now I'll continue. This is the way. Uh, uh, this is the way it is, men of Athens. In truth, whether someone situate uh, uh, someone stations himself, holding that is best, or uh, whether he is stationed by a ruler, he must stay and run the risk. It seems to me. And it does not take into account death or anything else uh, compared to what is shameful. In other words, he's saying, if someone is, it's, it's like this. Uh, if 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 someone has ordered you to do something, if something has to be done, that you that the, the ruler or the or those in authority put you to do it, you should do it, even if it means death, okay, or danger, okay. Uh, you should otherwise it would be shameful to break the law or to do unjust things would be uh, break the law. He says, so I would uh, uh, have done terrible deeds, men of Athens, if when the rulers whom you elected to rule me stationed me in Patea and am Anthropolis and at de, uh, 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 delirium, uh, 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 I stayed when they stationed me and ran the risk of dying like everyone else. But when the gods stationed me, as I supposed and assumed, ordering me to live for philosophizing and examining myself and others, I had then left my station because I feared death or uh, uh, any other matter, whatever. Now, this is 39, this, this is the end of 39a, beginning of 39a. Oh, sorry, not 39, 29A. Uh, so 20, uh, uh, from tw uh, 28D to 20, uh, 29A in the text. See, he goes like this. He, he, and then he takes the logic of the argument that I, like anyone who's been stationed out there. Now, in, uh, and he recounts that when the city station ordered me to go to these locations, and these are famous battles. Again, Strauss's note, I mean, Strauss, West's note on page um, note 51 about these things is very good here. Um, um, in that sense that uh, uh, um, uh, these are very battles that Socrates was sent out of the city. In other words, the only time Socrates leaves the city, aside from the short trip in the Phaedrus, uh, is when the city has stationed him to go abroad at these three battles. And therefore he went and he did his duty in that sense. So in one, one way he's saying, well, I I wasn't afraid to do my duty. So why would I be afraid that when the God, the Delphic Oracle, I read the one, the Delphic Oracle claimed he was wise, none was wiser than he. So he it was kind of a, he was an order to see if that was true, to validate that. He took, remember, he's taking that as a thing to see, I'm going to take, understand if it's true or not. Whether they clearly test the Oracle in that sense. Again, but in one way that could be seen as impious, in another way that could be seen as pious. Uh, someone uh, I remember talking to me about this saying, well, but isn't that like confirming the piety of the act? I'm a little more skeptical. I think this is, you know, um, he's he's testing the truthfulness of the piety. So it's not, it, it is not simply an act of God, whatever the God has said is right. It is, I don't really believe what the God has said, so I'm going to validate it. I'm going to see if it's real or not. Okay. It's not, it's, it's kind of a, a tr not a trust. It is a verify then trust. Okay. Um, and he said that uh, now would it be uh, it would be if it's just for me to stay there, how would it then when the God orders me, why would it be now not dishonorable or bad to run away, like to, to fear my death, right? And change, not do what the God uh, the God is instructing me to go question and things like this. T uh, terrible that would be, and truly when someone might justly bring me. Uh, um, uh, uh, in other words, if I did that, did not do what I was supposed to, or instructed to do, terrible that would be. And truly, then someone might 
justly bring me into a law court saying that I do not I do not believe that there are gods since I would be disobeying the divination and fearing death and supposing that I am not wise that I am wise uh, that uh, uh, then I'm not supposing that I am wise that I would know that the gods are wrong and I would not know in other words he says I don't know I'm wise I'm going to question the gods to see I am wise to see the, the test uh, rather, if, it, if, he, if he ignored the gods, knowing that I'm wiser than the gods, uh, uh, wouldn't that be impiety? And wouldn't that be an act worthy of the charge that's being said here? Uh, uh, I would, in other words, I would be disobeying the deviations and fearing death, supposing that I am wise when I'm not. For to fear death, men, is in fact nothing other than to seem to be wise, but not to be so. In other words, now, now, he, makes, now he makes a very interesting quite, uh, statement. Fearing death is a kind of, um, is a kind of claiming to have knowledge that you may don't. In other words, that it's, it's it, uh, by fearing death, I will, would seem to have knowledge that e the death is the greatest evil. Uh, uh, he continues here on this. For it is, uh, uh, for it is to seem to know that what one does not know. No one knows whether death does not even appear to be the greatest of all goods for the human being. But uh, people fear it as though they know well that it is the greatest evil of evils. Um, and this, this, this gets at 29b, uh, at 29b, the star of 29b. And how, and how is this not repro reproachable ignorance of supposing that one knows what one does not know. In other words, we don't know what death it entails. Is death really the greatest evil, men, or a, a, a great evil that a great bad that we have to avoid at all costs, or is it the great? It, it does it lead us to some great benefit that we never we don't know yet? We don't know. So to to fear death is to claim to it would be acting as though you knew something that you did not know he's asserting here um and he goes um uh, uh, uh was the greatest of evils and how is this not the reproachable ignorance of supposing that one knows what one does not know but i meant uh, but i men am perhaps distinguished from the many human beings also here in this, in other words, I'm I'm distinguished from the many human beings. Okay, I'm different than all you guys. <laughs> uh, uh, in this, and, and if it were uh, uh, to say that I am wiser than anyone in anything, it would be in this that since I do not know sufficiently about the things of Hades, in other words, uh, uh, this is the, the things of the, the afterworld, the hell. Um, um, uh, 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 so I suppose that I do not, I also suppose that I do not know. So he's saying, I don't know what things, and I'm not going to suppose I know. So I don't know whether it's good or bad in that sense he's saying here, right? So I do not know that it is bad and shameful to do injustice. No, but, but I, no, 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 sorry. But I do know that it is bad and shameful to do injustice and to disobey one's betters whether God or human being. In other words, to disobey one's betters, the, the superior ones, the better ones. Aristona. A better here, I think, is something Aristona, higher, in a sense, right? Your better ones. Uh, the be and as we say, that your betters, those better than you. You should obey your betters. You know, this idea that, that they, they, and this has both familiar, and that's that, uh, you know the idea of family, but also within political sense, those who have a rightful authority over you, you should. Those are your betters in that sense, um, and they have ordered you that you should not disobey them, and to disobey them, to, and as it was the laws too, to disobey the laws. So therefore, to disobey the laws and to disobey those in rightful authority is a kind of injustice, and doing injustice is thus shameful. Doing, in other words, it brings dishonor uh, 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 and shame to one, whereas doing justice and doing right brings honor and glory, honor to you. 
um, and, 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 and hence it's what, do, to do what is right, right? Um, so, um, uh, no. in other words, so it is same. In other words, I do, uh, I, I, but I do know that it is bad and shameful to do injustice and to disobey one better, whether God or human being. So, compared to the bad things that I know are bad, I will never fear or flee the things which I do not know whether they even happen to be good. Okay, now, now he ends this paragraph here, and, and before we get to thir- the end of thir- uh, 29b, with this argument that I know that doing disobeying one's betters and uh, and um, and doing injustice are bad. Okay. Um, I don't know whether hell or dying, you know, going into the afterlife, uh, uh, the land of what happens at me is, is as bad or even if it's good. I don't know that, but I know that. So why should I fear something I don't know to, in, to do something I know is bad? To disobey and, and and he means disobey God or man. Okay, what is this? So, um, pardon. I thought I turned my phone off. I'm going to uh, do that now. Um, so, um, let us uh, go on to the next thing. So, uh, uh, um. This is uh, uh, 29C. So uh, 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 not even if you let me go now and if you disobey Antilus, who said I either should not have been brought in here at the beginning or since I've been brought in, it's not possible. It is not possible not to kill me. Uh, 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 Now kill means to condemn to death. Uh, uh, He said this before you and I am uh, that if I'm acquitted, Soon you, you, your sons pursuing what, Soc- uh, what Socrates teaches will be all completely corrupted. If you would uh, 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 say to me uh, with regard to this, Socrates, for now we will not obey Antilus. We will let you go, but on the condition that you will no longer spend uh, time in this investigation or philosophize. And if you are caught doing this, uh, 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 still doing this, you will die. Okay. Whereas he's gonna the condition they're gonna say well, we will we'll let you go we'll kill you now but we want you to stop philosophizing but if we catch you philosophizing again he's basically going to reject any condition you need to let me go you should not have brought me here you either should kill me or let me go no middle ground no third option of we'll let we'll not kill you but we will uh, uh, not uh, 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 you better not philosophize anymore okay right. If you uh, let me go, then, as I said, on these condition, I would say to you, I, men of Athens, salute you and love you, but I will not obey. I will, no, sorry, I will obey the God rather than you. In other words, he says, I obey the God rather than you. In other words, he, I, I can obey this jury, his citizens. He will obey the higher thing, the divine, the God. Uh, who I, I remember the oracle said he was this? He, he understands the claim of the oracle as a kind of divine mission that he is on in that sense, uh, or he's, that's how he's presenting it. Uh, in other words, I salute you, I love you, but I will obey the god rather than you. So as long as I breathe, I will able to. I will certainly not stop philosophizing, and I will exhort you and explain this to whomever of, of you I happen to meet. And I will speak just the sort of things I'm accustomed to. Semicolon. Now, quote, unquote, you know, best of men, you are an Athenian from a city that is greatest and best reputed uh, for wisdom and strength. You are, uh, are you not ashamed that you care for, have, uh, aren't, are you not ashamed that you care for having as much money as possible and reputation and honor, but that you, you neither care nor give thought to prudence, good judgment, you know, prudence from from an on, or, 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 and truth, uh, and, and how your soul will be best possible. And if one of you disputes it and asserts that he does care, I will not immediately let him go, but I will go, uh, nor will I go away, but I will speak to him and examine and test him. 
And if he does not seem to me to possess virtue, uh, 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 but only says he does, I reproach him, saying that he regards the things worth the most as least important and the uh, paltier, the smaller things as more important. Um, I will do this to whomever, younger or older, I happen to meet, both foreigner and townsman, but more so to the townsmen, insomuch that they are closer to me as, as, as in kin. In other words, he, in other words, he'll, he'll, he'll do this to everyone, but he will do this more to the, his fellow citizens. Why? Because they're close, they're like kin to him. In other words, he's, he's, he's basically arguing this is kind of a patriotic duty of his, that this is his. This is his, his questioning their virtue is an act of civic piety in his count. But he is, it, is, it, is, it is, 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 is proof of his being a good citizen. Okay. Um, know well then uh, that the gods order this, as I suppose that until now no greater good has arisen for you in the city than my service to the gods. Now this boast, this little bit of boasting. That, well, know this that the gods have ordained this and, and no other, therefore what is it says and, and until now no greater good has arisen for you in the city than my service of the gods for i go around and do nothing but persuade you both younger and older not to care for your bodies and money before nor as vehemently as how your soul will be best possible i say not f from money does virtue come but from virtue comes money and all the other good things uh, uh, for human beings, both privately and publicly. If then I corrupt the young by saying these things, they, uh, 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 they may be harmful. Uh, if then I corrupt the young by saying, in other words, in other words Okay, in other words, he says about these things that virtue does not, but not money, uh, but not from money does virtue come, but from virtue comes money and all other good things uh, 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 from, for human beings, but private and publicly. If then I corrupt the young by saying these things, then they may be harmful. But if someone asserts that what I say is other than this, he speaks nonsense. In other words, he's saying that the truth may be, in other words, he's going to say this, this is what it is. And this mm, may hurt some people because they, it's going to be hard for them and they won't want to do it. But, uh, uh, but anyone who asserts that he's saying anything but this is saying, speaks nonsense. With a view to other things, men of Athens, I will say either obey Antilus or not, and either let me go or not, since I would not do otherwise not even if I were going to die many times. So in other words, he, he puts a condition. Antilus who says, you should, either Socrates should not have been, uh, uh, in other words, it's an either or. He should never have been abroad and should be left alone or um, uh, uh, we have to kill him. So Socrates accepts the either or and forces the jury to make the either or, right? Do not make disturbances, men of Athens, but abide by what I begged of you. Do not make disturbances at the things I say, but to listen. For I suppose that you will even be helped by listening. In other words, he's saying that don't don't, 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 don't keep on talking. Don't, just li listen, because I'm gonna. This is gonna be helping you. I'm, I'm benefiting you now. For um, in fact, I'm going to tell you uh, other things uh, at which you tell you will perhaps cry out, but do not do this in any way. For know well that if you kill me, since I am the sort of man, in other words, for know well that if you kill me, since I am the sort of man that I say I am, you will not harm me more than yourselves. In other words, in other words he's going to argue that eh, because of who I am and how I am, killing me is not going to harm me. In fact, it's going to harm you more than me. For Metellus and Antilus would not harm me, even uh, he would not even be able to for i do not suppose that it is sanctioned for a better man to be harmed by the worst there is a socratic argument that you cannot in the words a better person someone who's good cannot be really harmed by the worst now this is a hard argument to understand um uh, uh, perhaps however he might kill or banish or dishonor me or perhaps uh, however he might kill or banish or dishonor but this no man uh, but 
This man no doubt supposes, and others too, that these are the greatest evils. While I do not suppose these things these are, but rather uh, uh, doing what this man is now doing, attempting to kill a man unjustly. In other words, he says, dying, he says this, dying, banishing, and dishonor are not evils to a good man. Okay. For a bad man, it would be, uh, in other words, these are bad things. You know, not the bad things themselves. But they're, they're things that you, don't, you wouldn't like. You are harmed. But, um, but what is he saying here? He's saying that a good man would not happen to have the, the problem here with this, um, uh, in the sense that uh, the real thing is doing a, uh, trying to kill a man unjustly. That is doing evil. That is doing bad. That is doing wrong. Do, that is clearly bad. But ha being killed, uh, being dishonored, th this is not bad. You, know, this, you have no control over that. That's not your action. Uh, in that sense, but, but, but the act of doing evil to others, that this is really the bad thing here. Uh, so men of Athens, so he basically accuses, listen, no, killing me is, is not going to be bad for me. It's going to be more, I mean, it's going to be, uh, in fact, ultimately be worse for you because you have, will have committed an injustice by doing this because I am not guilty. You know that and, uh, you, I have proven that I'm not guilty and that therefore, and, and what you're doing is unjust, okay? So I, men of Athens, am now letting, uh, I am now far from making a defense speech on my own behalf, as someone might suppose. I do it rather on uh, your benefit, so that you do not do something wrong concerning the gift of the God to whom by voting to condemn me, in other words, by voting to condemn me, you're condemning yourself. Because the God has sent me here and to do this, and you're now by stop, trying to stop me from doing what the God commanded, uh, you're acting against the, the, the command of the God, uh, 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 the gods in this sense, okay? Uh, 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 if, for if you kill me, you will not easily discover any another of my sort, who even if it's... Um, and even it is is rather ridiculous to say has simply been set on a city by the gods as though uh, uh, upon a great and well-born horse who has been sluggish because of his great side and needs to be awakened by some gadfly. In other words, he, this is a metaphor for the idea of the gad, a fly. The, the horse is a, a great horse, but he's kind of, because of his size, he's kind of sluggish. And what the, the, the bug, the, the gadfly does is the flies bother him so that the, the horse has to move. And this keeps him alert and not to succumb to his, his laziness or his, his uh, um, uh, uh, sluggishness. Just so, in fact, the God seems to me to have set upon the city as someone of this sort. I awaken and persuade uh, and reproach each one of you. And I do not stop settling down everywhere upon, in other words, and I do not stop settling down everywhere upon you the whole day. Someone else of this sort will certainly not easily arise for you men. But well, if you obey me, you will spare me. But perhaps you will be vexed like the drowsy when they are awakened. And, you, and if you obey Antilus and slap me, you'll easily kill me. You will you would easily kill me. In other words, I'm a fly. I'm ha harmless. I'm not really that dangerous. I may vex you if you if you keep me alive. I may vex you, continually vex you, but I'm not dangerous. Whereas you can easily harm me. You know, you know, kill me. I'm a little, little fly, and you're the band that smashes the, the fly, right? Then you would spend the rest of your lives asleep, unless the god sends you someone else in his concern for you. In other words, you. You do, do you really want to taunt the gods and hoping that the gods, the gods have sent me here to help you. And I'm here as a gift from the gods. And you just froze that. You think the gods are going to give you another gift? And it's going to be difficult to get another gift in that sense. And he goes, um, uh, then I happen to be, um, that I happen to be someone of this sort, given to the city by the god. You might apprehend from this. You might apprehend from this. 
that it does not seem human on the one hand that I have been careless for all my own things, that for so many years now I have endured that the things of my family be uncared for. And on the other hand, that I always do your business, going to each of you privately as a father or an older brother might do, persuading you to uh, care for virtue. For I was getting out of, if I was getting something out of this, and if I was receiving pay when I exhorted you of these things, it would be somewhat reasonable. Reasonable. In other words, if I've been, no, I was getting something from this. So I've been conducting my whole life going to you, and he's described what he's been doing, right? The passage at 31b, um, uh, uh, you know, going to each of you privately like a father, persuading you to care for virtue. Now, if I've been getting something out of this or receiving pay, it would have been this receiving. But I, and I have done these things at the expense of my own family and my own wealth, you know, these things. He goes, um, but as it is, even you yourselves will see that the accusers who accuse me so shamelessly in everything else, in this, they have not been able to become so utterly shameless as to offer a witness to assert that I ever took pay or asked for it. For I suppose it is sufficient witness that I speak the truth, my poverty. <laughs> in other words, his poverty is proof that he never took money from this. And they were not even that shameless enough to try to accuse him of this. Okay. Now at uh, uh, 31c, continuing the paragraph, perhaps then it might seem to be strange that I do go about counseling these things and being a busybody in private, but that in public I do not dare go up before your multitude to counsel the city. Was, well, why don't you know? I you say that I go. Why don't I go? Why don't you go public? Why are you doing this privately? Why aren't you going to take a more public role? He goes. I go, the cause of this is what you have heard me speak of many times in many places that something divine and demonic comes to me a voice which of course is also what mitlis wrote about in the indictment making a comedy over it this uh, 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 is something which began for me in childhood a sort of voice comes and when it comes it always turns me away from whatever i'm about to do but never turns me forward words, he now talks about the demon this is the daemon, his daemon. What is a daemon? It, it is kind of a voice that comes to him and says, don't do it, Socrates. Don't do it. It only stops him from doing things. It's something that comes to him and says, no, 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 Socrates, don't do it. Never pushes him forward to do something. Okay. Now, uh, this is at uh, 31 uh, D, in the middle of it. He goes, this, what is, what seem, um, this is what opposes my political activity. And its opposition seems to me altogether beautiful, noble, not a coloss. Uh, for I know well, men of Athens, that if I have long ago attempted to be politically active, I would have long ago perished. Now, wait a minute. Okay. If I became politically active before, I would have perished. Words, this is kind of suggesting something about the, his democracy. That it's not as good as and beautiful it is. Uh, uh, in other words, he said, if I, 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 in other words, his, his daemon has not allowed him to do this because why you know because it's not good <laughs> it's dangerous or maybe who knows but then but if it was dangerous see it doesn't in a way he contradicts his earlier argument with achilles okay he, he, he kind of contradicts his earlier argument about achilles that he just gave would then well if that was true then wouldn't that lead him that he would why should he fear the danger of confronting the people now, unless he no unless he didn't want to change now, their argument is that he didn't want to overturn the regime. He wanted to leave the thing as it was. So that's an even more question at that. He wanted to do just as small, but not big. Um, in other words, uh, um, um, to what again, another four, no well, men of ends, if I had long ago attempted to be politically active, I would have long ago perished. I would have need, I, and I would have benefited neither you or myself. Now do not be vexed with me when I speak the truth, for there is no human being who will preserve his life if he generally opposes either you or any multitude and prevents many unjust and unlawful things from happening in a city. Rather, if someone who really fights for the just is going to preserve himself, even for a short time, it is necessary for him 
to lead a private rather than a public life. Now, that's a very problematic, you know, this is this statement here is that he's speaking the truth, but the truth is more dangerous. And that, does this really agitate the, the, the Democratic jury? That he's saying that, that no, I would not have, I, in other words, his argument is I stayed, I, I, I stayed alive because I, can, I was able to do more good then. And the question is maybe why does he do, why is he allowed to do it now? Is it because he's old, he's 70? He, no, he, uh, he, he and, uh, and therefore he, he's not, he, he does, the, the amount of time he has left and the ability to do good that he was doing is maybe diminishing. And so therefore it's now the, the excuse he had not to act politically is gone. So this is his, in other words, his act, his act politically is, in other words, he's in this thing, he is doing something that he should, uh, he has uh, hitherto not have done, right? Um, uh, in other words, rather than if someone who really fights for justice is going to preserve uh, himself, he even if for a short time it is necessary for him to lead a private rather than a public life, 32A, continue in, in, uh, 32A, I, for my part, will offer many great proofs of, uh, of these things to you, not speeches, but, and you, it, but what you honor, deep. Now he's going to give examples of what he did. Right? Did you listen? Did you listen to what ha happened to me, so that you may see that I would not yield, even to one man against the field because of fear of death, even if I were to perish by refusing to yield. I will tell you vulgar things, typical of the law courts, but true. I will tell you vulgar things, typical of the law courts, but true. Uh, I, men of Athens, never held any office in the city except for being once a, 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 the council, a, a, on the council. And it happened that our tribe, the Entelus, uh, held the Pithrini. That's an office, right? This is a note to, to, to 37 when he talks about it. Uh, the citizen body that divided into administrative units, tribes, each elected uh, uh, 50 men were selected from a lot to serve on the council. For one year term, the, uh, the this year was divided into ten parts called Pertines, and the group of fifty served uh, as uh, Pertines during that one of this period. Among the other responsibilities, the Pertines arranged for meetings of the councils and assembly. When the assembly met, a certain of the Pertines chosen by lot to be chairman. So, in other words, and then when you wish to judge the ten generals, the ones who did not pick them up, the men from the naval uh, uh, battle as a group, unlawfully, as it seemed to all of you at the time afterwards. In other words, he, uh, he stopped, in other words, this is, this is a very important note. You talked about this in 58, he talks about this. Uh, I'm not gonna quote it, you can go read it. I alone of the Peritonese opposed doing anything against the laws then. I voted against it. And although the orators were ready to indict me and arrest me, and you were ordering and shouting, I suppose that I'm, I should risk I should run the risk of uh, 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 with the law, than and the just rather than side with you because fear of prison or death when you were counseling unjust things. Okay, uh, West note and fifty eight is worth reading. I'm not going to do that now for you guys, but you can go read it because he talks about the in incident. He was a judge. In other words, Socrates was the chair, the deciding chair, and when the at, at the, 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 you know, the ten generals left. At a, at a sea battle, left the dead, didn't collect it. That's a big, you know, there's a, and that the enemy, the opposition to the, the military campaign, the, government, the opposition was angry and they wanted vengeance for the generals not doing that. They wanted to condemn the generals as a group, not individually, okay? And what he did was he stopped that. He prevented that from happening. Now, later, the the people decided that what, that, that, what, what was done at the time, the trying to try them all at once was wrong. They change the people. The, the people, the, the city can change its mind. And what Socrates, but but the thing about what they do is unjust. It broke the law. In other words, the, the city wanted them to ignore the law, to punish them without concerning about the law. Now we see this all the time in politics, right? That oh, the laws, you know, the Constitution is an old document. We shouldn't pay attention to that. We should we should we should do what the people want, right? This is a this is dangerous because you're doing injustice. What happens when the people want you to do injustice? The people can want you doing injustice. Well, uh, um, so therefore, the question is: that then he he, said he 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 would not do it. He would uh, he didn't he, he, in other words he would rather rus risk the fear of death in prison than to do uh, uh, what they were counseling that, that is unjust things. I'll continue. 
Now, when, when the city was still under the democracy, but this is when the city was still under the democracy period. But again, when the oligarchy came to be in the 30 summoned five of us, the Thelos, and ordered us to arrest Leon the Samalian and bring him here from Salamis to die. Again, this is another footnote 59. The arrest and execution of Leon, right, is reputed to be a, a, a just man uh, and convicted by crimes on the, uh, the 30 tyrants. Right? This is the reign of the 30 tyrants. Um, uh, uh, and they accused him of doing it. They ordered many others to do many sort of things, wishing that as many as possible would be implicated in the responsibilities. In other words, this is how tyrants act. Tyrants will inv- engage many people in, into the crime, so they're as guilty with them. Um, uh, uh, and they would be implicated in the, the responsibility. Then, however, I showed, not in speech, but indeed, that I do not care about death in any way, way at all, if it, it is not too crude to say so, but that my whole care is to commit no injustice or MP, MPS deed. That government, as strong as it was, did not shock me into doing anything unjust. When uh, we came out of the Thelos, the, you know, the place, the four others went to Salamis and arrested Leon. But I departed and went home. And perhaps I would have died because of this if that government had not been quickly overthrown. And you will have many witnesses for, for these things. 32E. Um, now, uh, but do you suppose then that I would have survived so many years if I had publicly been active and acted in the manner worthy of a good man, coming to the aid of just things and, uh, and uh, one uh, as one ought? Regarding this as the most important, oh, come on, that's you know, kind of provocative, isn't it? Far from it, men of Athens, nor would any other human being. In other words, no, in other words, here's arguing that the good man that that the and uh, in, in, in the typical city, the typical city is always going to have injustice towards it. Every city note will always have injustice, and the good man is always going to have a problem in the good any city, because uh, why? Because of the fact that all every all cities and their laws are just reflections of what is just, and also going to be kind of not only is, is law a kind of an, a kind of an authoritative view of what the ruling parts think what justice is. So therefore, it's not justice; it is an understand is an opinion about justice, right? An authoritative opinion with teeth behind, uh, with it, right? But that the problem here is that all cities are therefore imperfectly just. And therefore, if someone who is going to embrace justice perfectly and only do justice, he's always going to be at odds with the political the city. I said. Therefore, Plato is suggesting a kind of, uh, in other words, justice is something that is so perfect and, pure, and, and the just man would be something that is always at an ideal, a universal kind of peak, a, a peak of humanity but one that would be always at odds in the city because this all cities are always going to be imperfect all political orders are going to be imperfect um only in the just city would this just the good man be a true a good citizen in that sense uh, but and this is why maybe so, the argument why so, uh, 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 that knowing that if he agitated he would be a bad citizen that therefore as a good citizen the best thing he could do is remain private right this is the idea that he's, he's that he suggests here um, uh, um in other words he goes um coming to in other words far from it men of athens nor would any other human being now next one 33a but uh through all my life it, if i were ever have uh, if i was ever active in public at all it was apparent that i was the sort of man and private, um, and private as uh, I was the same, who never conceded anything to anyone contrary to the just, neither to anyone else, nor to any of those who my slanderers say are my students. In other words, he mentions the students. This is note 60. That, uh, these are, you know, the uh, Critias and Comrades, two of, uh, who are associates, who are who were infamous of the, of the 30 tyrants. Uh, so not only that, but also Alcibiades. In other words, <coughs> Alcibiades, Critias, and uh, um, and Comedies are the kind of example people that they would throw up. His student, these people were his students. They were bad. Therefore, Socrates, a teacher of bad things, right? 
uh, uh, any 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 kinds of saying that no, this is saying that I have never been anyone's teacher. But if anyone, whether younger or older, desired to hear me speaking and doing my own things, I never begrudged it to him. And I do not converse only when I receive money, um, and and not <clears throat> when I do not, uh, 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 and not when I do not receive it. Rather, I offer myself to both rich and poor alike for questioning. If anyone wishes to hear what I say, he may answer me. <clears throat> and um, <clears throat> and whether any one of them becomes an upright man or not, I would not justly be held responsible. Uh, um, there was a if they become an upright man or not, I would not justly be held responsible since I had never promised or taught any instruction to any of them. If someone says that he has ever learned from me or heard privately anything that anyone else did not know well, he is not speaking the truth. But why then do some enjoy spending so much time with me? You, you, uh, uh, you have heard men of Athens. I'm, I told you the whole truth. It is because they enjoy hearing men examine who suppose they are wise and but are not. But it is not. Uh, but f for it is not unpleasant. In other words, they, it's a spectacle. In other words, it's a spectacle. Seeing that someone, they enjoy seeing the person who's, who, who claims they're wise and shown to be not. It's not. And I have been ordered. Uh, and I have been ordered to practice this by uh, the God, as I affirm, from divinations and from dreams. And in every way that any divine allotment ever ordered a, ordered a human being to practice anything at all. These things, men of Athens, are both true and easy to test. Now, if I, for my part, am corrupting some of the young and have already uh, corrupted others, and if any of them, when they became older, had recognized that I ever counseled them badly in anything while they were young, then now, no doubt, they would have to come forward to accuse me and take vengeance. If they themselves were not willing to, then some of their families and fathers and brothers and other relatives should have remembered it and have taken uh, uh, their vengeance if their families have suffered anything bad from it. But in any event, in other words, if, if, if I have really harmed people, you people saying they would, they themselves would come after me. If not they, then their families. And if I ever harmed anyone, their families you know the families would come after me in that sense but you know they're not really there and he goes now in any event this is at uh, 33e uh, uh there are present here many of whom i see first of all crito here of my age and deem and the father of critobus here uh 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 next less uh, uh, spidetian the father of escalis uh, uh, here Further and Anthropon the uh, Anthropon the Cephasian, the father of Epigenes. Moreover, there are others whose brothers um, uh, uh, have spent time here uh, in this way. Uh, uh, Theozinti, son of Nicostratus, the brother of Theodotus, and the Dotus have met their end, so that he at least would not beg him not to. And uh, 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 Democotus, the son of uh, Pereros, whose brother is Thages. And here's Ariston's sons, Amadeus. Uh, 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 okay. I want to say, I want to say Amadeus. Uh, um, I, this is from the play. And I always get this name wrong. Am, uh, Amadeus, whose brother Plato here, and uh, uh, Androgenus, whose brother Apollodorus is here. So Apollodorus. And uh, Plato, these are the two things, right? These are the two uh, uh, friends, of, uh, big students of Socrates. We have, we have more Plato's uh, things. In it. So unfortunately, we don't have much of Apollodorus. Okay, that's very interesting. Uh, what we what what of Socrates we would have known if, if Apollodorus's stuff was, was survived when we had access to it, right? Um, 34a, and I tell you, uh, and I can tell you of many others. From among uh, uh, from among whom Metellus should perhaps uh, particularly have offered someone as a witness during his own speech, if he forgot, then let him offer one now. I will yield, and let him say if he has any one of this sort. Uh, but you will discover that 
uh, th it is wholly opposite to this, men, that if anyone is ready to come to aid me, the corrupter, the one who does evil to their families, as Metlis and Antius says, in other words, is the opposite. And they would really come forward to help me if I was that bad person. Uh, now the corrupted ones themselves would perhaps have a reason to come to my aid, but not the uncorrupted ones, the relatives and now who are older men, to what other reason would they have to come to my aid except the correct and just one, that they are conscious that mentalist speaks falsely while I am speaking truthfully. Okay, okay. now this is next, the next things. Well, then men, well then men, these and perhaps other such things are about all I could have uh, say in my defense. Perhaps some among you may be indignant when he recalls himself if in some contesting a trial, even a smaller than this trial, he begged and supplicated the judges with many tears, bringing forward his own children and as many as possible his own family and friends, so as to be pitied as such as possible, while I will do none of these things, although it is too I am asking, uh, although in this too I am asking, as it may seem, the extreme danger, which I'm, I'm, I'm putting myself, by not doing the things that you expected to do, that I put myself in, in extreme danger. Perhaps then someone thinking about this may be rather stubborn towards me and angered by this very thing. So he may s set down his vote in anger, in other words, uh, I, I'm who by being boastful and not doing the things uh, um, uh, uh, what you expect a supplicant to do will say you didn't do you didn't do what you should have done. He should have said he should have begged us to live, let him live. Or he begged us, and we would have. I would have gladly let him if he just showed some contrition and submission to my thing. Right. Uh, um, uh, perhaps uh, someone thinking that about this rather stubborn towards me and angered at the very thing, he may say his vote in anger. If there is someone among you like this, for I at least do not deem th that there is, but if there is, to me it seems decent for me to say to this man, I, best of men, surely do, uh, uh, sure, surely do have some family, for this is also what Homer says. I am, I, I not even I have grown up from an oak or a rock, but from human beings. So that I do have a family and sons, two men of Athens, three of them, one already a youth and two still children. Nevertheless, I will bring none of them forward here in order to beg you to vote to quit me. Um, um, now, um, why then will I do none of these things? Because I am stubborn, men of Athens. Uh, 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 because I am stubborn, men of Athens. Nor because I dishonor you. Not because I am stubborn, men of Athens. Sorry. My, uh, not because I'm stubborn, men of Athens. Nor because I dishonor you. Whether I am daring with regard to death or not is another story. But at any rate, as to reputation, mine and yours and the whole city's, to me, it does not seem to be beautiful uh, of me, noble of me, colos of me, to do any of these things. In other words, it wouldn't be right for me to do anything beautiful. Me to bring those things, it would be kind of unnoble. Uh, in other words, whether I'm daring in this regard to death is not another story. But at any rate of reputation, mine and yours, and to the whole cities, to me, it does not seem to be noble for me to do any of these things. For I am old, and having this name, Socrates, right, also the name of being a philosopher and being a troublemaker, and whether it is true or false, is reputed at least that Socrates is distinguished from the many human beings in some way. In other words, I have, I have reputation, this is how I'm distinguished from everyone else. If then none of you who are reputed to be distinguished whether in wisdom or courage or any other virtue at all, will act in this way, it will be shameful. In other words, you have your reputation. Words, I should be what I am. I should be who I am. I am this Socrates, Socratic man, this, 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 this way of doing things. I'm going to be true to how I've lived my life and how I've done this. To do otherwise would be to, to reject who I am 
to go against how I lived and who I am. And therefore, as as it would be shameful for a courageous man, a man who has been courageous and her, uh, great, to all of a sudden to do vain and stupid things. In other words, in other words you, be true, you should be true to who you are in a sense. Not, not this is true to thine own self be true. No, the, okay, somewhat, but only regarding to the good and high things, not to your own self be true regarding the low, vain, and high. In other words, I know a bad man tries to enjoy being bad. No, he's not saying that. Um, let's not look at that line. Um, um, for it, then, if those of you who are reputed to be distinguished, whether in virtue or courage, or any other virtue at all will act in this way, it would be shameful. I have often seen some who are just like this when they are judged, although they are reputed to be something. They do wondrous deeds since they suppose that they will suffer something terrible if they die, as though they will be, uh, that they would be immortal if you did not kill them. They seem to me to attach shame to the city, for that a foreigner might take it as those Athenians who are distinguished in virtue, the ones whom they pick out from them among themselves for their offices and other honors, are not distinguished at all from women, <laughs> are not distinguished from all women. For those of you men of Athens who are reputed to be something uh, in any way at all should not do these things, nor whenever we do them, you should not allow it. Instead, you should show that you would much rather vote to convict the one who brings in this piteous drama drama and makes the city ridiculous than the one who keeps quiet. Apart from, uh, now he ends here, and this is the wrapping up two paragraphs, ends the uh, defense speech, the first part. Apart from this reputation, men, uh, 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 to me it also does not seem to be just to beg uh, uh, to beg the judge, nor to uh, uh, be acquitted by begging, but rather to teach and persuade. For the judge is not seated to give away just things as a gratification, but to judge them. For he, uh, uh, for he has not sworn to gratify whomever seems favorable to him, but to give judgment according to the law. So the judge is not to gratify, he's the judge. And that is what the judges the whether you, and, and and you should be judged on you, whether you deserve it or you don't. You deserve punishment or you deserve reward. Again, this is the idea. The judge, and and the judge should follow what the law says. Okay, in that sense, uh, uh, and therefore we should not accustom you to swear falsely, nor should you become accustomed to it. For neither of us would be pious, uh, 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 and here pious would be faithful, uh, uh, in other words, uh, uh, which here translates Aeschylus as impiety. Um, uh, um, uh, uh, in other words, the pious here versus the impious, right? Um, so do not, uh, uh, so do not deem that I, men of Athens, should practice such things before you, which I hold to be neither noble, neither beautiful, kalos, nor just, nor pious. And certainly by Zeus, now brings the gods to God, right? The Zeus by the authority. Above all, not when I am being prosecuted for impiety, my metalist here. So I'm not going to do anything in other words, well, I'm not going to do anything unjust. I'm not going to do anything unnoble, unjust, unpious. Especially since I'm he, Metellus, is charging me with impiety here, right? Um, for plainly, I should uh, I should persuade and force you by begging. Uh, uh, for plainly, if I should persuade and force you by begging, after you have sworn an oath, I would be teaching you not to hold that there are gods, and in making my defense speech, I would, would simply be accusing myself of not believing in the gods. But that is far from being so. For I believe men of Athens as none of my accusers does. In other words, he, I believe men of Athens as none of my accusers. As I turn it over to you and to the God to judge me in, whether, uh, uh, in whatever way is going to be best for, both for me and for you. Okay. And this is how the, uh, uh, his, the first speech ends. 
Okay, now here it is. We're at the end of the first speech. Uh, if you have any comments, please put the comments below and I will reply to them. Um, if you like what I said, you know, like it, you can subscribe to this. You, um, uh, you can share it with a friend, please. That's a little sharing with a friend if you like this. Uh, if um, uh, And you want to follow me on social media, the links are below. Okay, that's it. And have a good day.